All right, uh, hello everyone, and welcome to this hands-on demonstration of IBM and Cloudera. So today's session is to give some examples of how these services are building on a successful partnership based on a better together story where the benefits of using the Cloudera platform can be easily integrated with the various analytics and uh, you know various analytic services provided by the CloudPack platform on IBM. Uh, and we'll show this integration using a small subset of CloudPack services, which represent a few different categories of services in CPD. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's begin. So first I wanna introduce myself uh, as well as our DevOps engineer you'll be hearing on this call. So my name is Prasa. I'm a software development manager here at IBM. I work with many different start strategic partnerships in various contexts, but our overall mission is really to increase the integration between IBM and its various partners, and especially to ensure that supporting partners uh, are well represented specifically on the cloud pack ecosystem. So joining me today is uh, Dinto. Dinto is a DevOps engineer on our team and he's our focal for Cloudera integration. So Dinto has been working with Cloudera for the greater part of last year. And what he'll be bringing to this uh, session is basically hands-on experience and expertise with our Cloudera connected services. But before we get to sort of looking at this integration hands-on, I want to basically introduce these two platforms. So Cloudera itself. So Cloudera is an enterprise data management system that makes significant use of Apache Hadoop. Cloudera is uh, essentially it provides a scalable flexible system that makes it easy to manage high volumes of data and uh, different varieties of data at an enterprise scale. So CloudPack for Data is an analytics platform that helps prepare data for artificial intelligence. So essentially it enables data engineers, data stewards, data scientists, and business analysts to collaborate using one single integrated multi-cloud platform. So this chart on the screen now shows some of the different categories of services provided by CloudPack for Data. So on the left, we have data collection, which the simplest example would be SQL and NoSQL data. But it can also be extended to, for example, event streaming, streaming analytics. Uh, and many of these different services are actually bundled within CloudPack for Data itself as add-ons. Now, Cloudera itself, which you know, we would consider a data source in this context, would plug in neatly into this to this aspect, this section of Cloud Pack for Data. Now, once the data is available, there are many services on CPD which can organize this data. And so that would in include things like refining the data, applying transforms, applying governance rules, uh, cleaning the data, classifying the data. Next, there are data science tools and data visualization tools which can assist in analyzing the data and producing results using, uh, for example, applying AI, machine learning models, et cetera. And then finally, there are reporting and planning tools, which will help us basically make, you know, make and share conclusions uh, with this data for reporting purposes. Now, in today's demo, to exemplify this, what we're gonna do is focus on four services offered in CloudPack for Data. So first one is called Data Refinery. So Data Refinery can be used to do simple cleaning and filtering of data coming from many different sources. And of course, today we're gonna to use Cloudera as that data source. Next, we'll virtualize this data using data virtualization. So data virtualization DV is a service that will let you ingest and connect Cloudera data with data coming from other disparate sources, different types of databases, allowing you to manipulate a single virtualized table that merges data from both. We'll also show a business reporting tool in Cognos Analytics, which will allow you to prepare dashboards and visuals based on that ingested data. And we'll also show Data Stage, which is a powerful ETL tool, which can help with all sorts of data transformations and then load your data to other platforms, bring it to other landing spots, uh, such as object store, flat files, other databases, et cetera. So that's what we'll be showing today. So let's begin with data refinery and data stage, and we'll show you how you can load your data using platform connectors in CPD into Outback for Data. Integrate that with these two services to filter your data and perform transforms. 
Uh, and then in the second part of our demo, we'll move on to DV and Cognos and show some of the analysis and business reporting capabilities by pulling tables and showing examples of the visualized tables and also the charts that can be generated from that data. So I'll pass it over to Dinto at this point. Thank you. So thanks, Prasa. So for this demo, like we have a Cloudera CDP cluster running where our, all of our data sources like Hive, Imbala, HDFS are all working fine. And we'll be using this cluster to connect with our cloud pack. So now before going to data refinery uh, in cloud pack, I actually have to show you how to create a platform connection, uh, which is actually for the cloud and Imbala data source. So here we are using the JDBC driver to connect with the Imbala data source. For that, we should have actually have to select the JDBC jar file and configure the JDBC URL, which was provided by the cloud and Anox. Also, we actually have to provide the credentials of the Cloudera, which can authenticate to the Cloudera console and the SL certificate as well. So let's touch this connection. Yes, so the connection is working. Now we can move to data refinery. So this is one of the cloud pack project I have created. I have already imported the Imbala connection over here. You can see over here. Now let's add a new data refinery flow. Now select the Imbala connection from the connection list, already preloaded in the GoData database. Now we can see that data is already getting populated over here. Now save this connection. Next, we'll be, we can add a new step of data operation over here. Let's use the remove duplicates option, which is already over here. And select the product number column. and click apply for it. Now we can see the output over here where we can say that the duplicates have been already removed from the products number column. Similarly, we can do a lot of data operations here. Yeah, that's all about data family. Now let's move to data stage. Here's the data stage flow I am explaining today. In this, I'm using the Imbala JDBC connection as the source, data will flow through a sort filter, which is already configured over here. I mean, I'm using the product color column as the sort key here. And the output is actually targeted to the course bucket as an object. So let's try to compile and run this flow. Now we can see the data flow job is completed. Now let's check the output file, which is already there in the course bucket. Now you can see that the product column is actually got sorted. Yeah, that's it. That's all about data stage. Now we will be moving to data virtualization part. So this is the data virtualization console. Here I have already added the two platform connections from Cloudera, Hive and the Bala one. Now I'll be going to join two tables, two different tables from these two, two different data sources. For that, let's try to virtualize the data first. I'm adding the products table from Hive and sales table from Bala to the cart for the virtualization.
Now you can see both the tables are added to the cart. Now we'll try to virtualize it. You can see that virtualization got success. Now we can see the virtualized data. Now we can select both these tables and click join. Now we need to connect both these tables using a join key. So let's use the product number in both the tables. That's the join key. Now we can remove the unwanted columns that is on the join view. Click on next. Now we can see the joint view of the both the tables. Like these entries came from sales table and this product column came from the product table. Now we, this can be saved as a view itself. Yeah, that's all about data virtualization. Now let's move to Cognos Analytics now. So this is the Cognos Analytics dashboard. So here we'll be creating the dashboards for the, our data sources. So first thing here is to create a connection to our data source. Uh, I have already created a Bala connection over here. Let's test this connection. I have provided all the required values over here. Yes, it's working. So now let's try to create a data module using this Imbala connection. Select the that Imbala connection first. Now we can select the database over here. Now we can save this data module. Now we can go ahead and create the dashboard. Select a proper layout. Now select the data source that data module that we just created before. Now you can drag the columns to the dashboard as well as you can create the visualizations and configure the column for that. That's how we designed the dashboards. Yeah, that's all about the Cognos dashboards. Thanks everyone. Now I'm passing back to Prasa. All right, uh, thank you Dinto, thanks for uh... Thank you for showing these different hands-on examples and thank you everyone for listening to the session. So of course, this is just a simple you know, example uh, that just touches the surface of some of these capabilities that are available in CP4D. But I hope that these examples at least show the, the simplicity of connecting you know, different service types to Cloudera data sources and also you know, a number of other data sources beyond that as well. So again, I wanna thank Dinto for participating and again, thank you all very much for listening.